Hello, and welcome to another edition of Food Review. I never know what to call this show. Is it married and eating, food review, dogs get in the way? Like, what do you what do you call it? Anyway, so today we are back. We are back with another episode of Food Review Times 2, or I think this is episode 7. Sure. It's the first one of the new year. So, happy! Happy birthday! Or happy new year. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go. These dogs are killing me. So we're gonna go over. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Seven! You almost burst that all up. Seven things! Seven things to try. All right. If you're I'm still with us, that. if you're still with us, thank you because technical difficulties. And we are going to start of the furry kind. Yeah. And we're going to start with these wine gums, frosted. Oh, those were U uh, UK, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm trying to see exactly where they're from. Um, it says UK only. Yeah, it just says UK only. But I'm trying to figure out where. Ireland. That was not what I was expecting. It says Ireland, Dublin. Oh, there you go. And these are frosted wine gums. Oh, we have three now, not just two. Get you one. I'm scared now. Is, I think that's supposed to be green. Smell it. I don't want to. Smell the bag. I don't want to. Ew. It makes smell like white vinegar. Mm. That's disgusting. I'm scared now. All right. Well, not sponsored, but our refreshing refreshment of refreshingness for the for the show is cherry coca-cola so we're gonna get these ready because i'm scared and we don't take a drink until we take a dink dink it chinchilla they're hard I don't taste bad. They're really hard. They're harder than jujus. Juju fruits. Yeah, I haven't even broken apart at all. That is actually, actually not bad. That tastes pretty good. Don't smell it. You smell it, you ain't gonna eat it. Did you get it down? No, I'm still chewing. Well, while she's chewing, on to the next. You do this one? Mm -hmm. You have to save one for your mom. Mm -hmm. And so these are called fat. They're soda flavor candy. Soda flavor candy, Lion Soda Kids Candy. So maybe the brand is Lion. Mm. Product of Japan. Mm -hmm. By Dai, I can't pronounce it. Trading company Chicago. So they trade into Chicago. Yeah. Did, Did you get that down? I finally. So there's all a whole bunch of different flavors. Do they say what the flavors are? So there is orange and pink. So, oh, it's got orange, fruits. grape, peach, lemon. Not sure what that one is, and that one's supposed to be cola. I want to try the cola. So, you need a brown one. Oh, yeah, and then there was this one. I didn't know what one that was. 
It looks like an apple or something. I don't know. An apple float. Apple, you're an apple float. That's what it looks like. Apple float. It's so it's red. Oh. Yeah, that's a special one. I want that. So, all right. I'm not trying one of all of them. No, you I'm try one. Them. I'll get to probably two of them. I'm going to save this. No. Yeah. All right, I'll try to figure out what this blue thing is. <laughs> and then... Safe be grape, you think? Grape. Grape would be safe. Mm -hmm. Or orange. Or orange. Two orange. All right, so... They're supposed to look like little people, like the little characters. That's what they look like. Little funky little dudes. Kind of like some... Why does it look like it has a butt? Yeah. Got a little booty. Chinchilla. They're hard. Woo! It tastes like an orange. They're pretty good. That tastes like, um, them gummy cola gummies. Them gummy cola gummies. That's what I said. Oh, but, no. but like a hard candy version of it. Like if grandma at church had hard candy and it, it would cola flavor it tastes like this. I actually think I would probably keep these. I just gotta figure out what this thing is though. I just don't know how to read Japanese. I feel like there's probably something fizzy in the middle. I feel like there is because I keep getting <laughs> a little something on my tongue. Mm -hmm. Are you getting fizzy? I broke it open. Fizzy or sour? Fizzy. They're not too sour, but it was just a lot of fizz. Mm -hmm. That's actually really good. I'm just trying to figure out why all the little characters have little, like, gleamy spots on their teeth. <laughs> like all of them do. Did you get it? You didn't get into it yet? Yeah. You did? Just did. And then... See, part. see, it's not sour. It's just too much fizz at one time. No, it's a little tart. Alright, I'm gonna try this... Uh, I don't know, apple float? I don't know what this is. Maybe it's like um, the apple pie with ice cream on it, maybe. Apple pie, I don't know, but there's no pie. Mm. It's sour apple float. I'm going to say this. We'll see if we're right. This is the specialty one. So I tore the package, but you can still see it. So all the other flavors are down here, and then it doesn't say what it is, but it's right there, that green one with the little ice cream. And it's also on the back. It's the one with the pink around it. So. I'm just trying to figure out what this one is. Just hopefully it's not mouthwash flavor. <laughs> hey, the, but the, doesn't J Japan have, like, soda milk type of thing? Yeah. Hmm. Chinchilla. Mm. What the fuck is that? The straight tastes like I just licked a thing of bubble gum. Oh god. What that? Don't eat the don't eat the the don't eat the blue ones. And don't eat the green ones. <laughs> you want it? 
You're not gonna like it. That was horrible. That tasted like. But I'm kind of thinking these might be. I wonder if these are like teeth cleaning candy type of thing. I don't know. Because I'm seeing an awful lot of teeth on here. <laughs> maybe. Well, maybe. But we're we're gonna keep eating those. Some of them are really good. Some of them were booty hole. But we're gonna start with our first beverage. I like how you shove them all in front of me. <laughs> Sorry. So this is dandelion and burdock Ben Shaw's. Ben Shaw's. Where was that one from? Excuse you. Da, 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 da. The Netherlands. Hmm. Carbonated dandelion and burdock flavor with sugars and sweeteners. It's so weird. I don't know what a burdock is. That yellow of a dandelion makes me nervous. Wait. It's carbonated. It's a weird can, though. Actually, that don't smell bad. That's just, a weird color. Just please, not a lot. That's very brownish, weird. Well, but it starts off purple, and then it, like... It's got a kind of a Coke look. A little bit. Smell it. It smells... <laughs> like black licorice. It does smell like black licorice. Well. We got our Cokes ready. I don't know what you're saying. That you like black licorice. I don't know if I'm going to like black licorice dandelion drink. Maybe that's what burdock is. You are weird. You probably would like it. But. But. It's totally timeless. So. And it was yeah. established in 1871. So that's yeah, have a time. <laughs> Chinchilla. We're not doing this. No. <laughs> How is it? I don't know. I didn't All right. <laughs> I don't believe you. I <laughs> believe you. You're making me. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. How is it? <laughs> Try it, you butt. <laughs> it stinks. I don't care. You made me drink it. I actually could see you liking that cold. I don't hate it, but warm is not the answer. What did you say? I think you would like it cold. I'm going to go wash this, and then we'll be right back. So now we're back. Our cups are clean. Our palates are cleansed. Now we are moving on. You want to do this one? You want to save this one for next? Or do you want to do that one, and then that one, and then that one? Well, you want to try to get more of the sweet stuff out of the way because we only have one that's kind of savory. True, but if it's nasty, I want this one last. We can do that one last. Okay. Big up. So these are the vanilla milk flavored <laughs> things. Vanilla milk flavored crunchy things. They kind of look like dog treats. I thought they kind of looked like little pit rolls. I was like, this is dog treat. So did you. There's a dog there, there's a dog there, there's a dog right here. Yeah, we got three today. Oh, oh, there, oh. there's one. He's like, oh, He no. made his TV appearance. <laughs> he said, nope, don't let me do this. They actually kind of smell like marshmallows. Product of Thailand. They're actually bigger pieces than huh. I was. They do smell like a weird marshmallow. They just smell like marshmallows. Well, this is what it looked like. 
It don't feel like a marshmallow though. Kind of feels like a Captain Crunch. And it does one, look kind of look like a toilet paper roll. Two, though. three, chinchilla does. Oh, I'll tear this thing up. Hey! Hey, for horses. Y'all, we got a winner. So tell them you want Big M, vanilla milk flavored crunchy things. Those are delicious. Those are really good. You want to do... You want to do the thing, then the drink? Or you want to do the drink before we do the chip thing? We'll do this first. Okay. Those are really good. Those are. <laughs> they taste like... Deliciousness. Vanilla flavored kicks. Yeah! Just like with a stronger flavor mm -hmm. to them. And these these are... I picked because it's his favorite flavor. These are from Korea. And they're pizza flavored like Popcorn waffle crisps. Chip thingies. They smell like chips. That is not like pizza? They smell kind of weird. Yeah, that is kind of weird. They kind of look like the Czech cereal, though. That's or like, it's like a, it's supposed to be a waffle fry. One, two, three, chinchilla. It doesn't taste like pizza. It doesn't taste like anything. It's very, very light, not flavor. I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll let you know. Sounds really crunchy. They're dog approved. <laughs> um, so they're real light flavored. I do kind of get like a, a hint of a marinara, kind of. That's about it. That's it. But they're not bad. Um, if you're eating Quaker rice crisps, rice cakes, these are an improvement. Otherwise, you're probably eating something more flavorful than these. Yeah. Kind of. But it's something to mindlessly munch on if you're watching Telemundo. But for, I think they were like six bucks a bag. Yeah, I don't remember paying that much. They're imported, I'm sure. They're oh, yeah. The receipts it's are okay. there. That might not. That might be the other part that I got. So we gotta do the all last the stuff one. that we get this trip. We were back at Jungle Gyms, so this isn't a sponsor or anything. Although, if they wanted to, they could. Um, but we we really like Jungle Gyms. Jungle Gyms is a giant international market. There's two locations here in Ohio. Um, and we go to one in Fairfield, Ohio, and the, the stuff is great. They have so many different selections and so much different stuff that you can get. And that's why we endlessly don't run out of things is because they're always changing things, so we're able to always keep things current. Mm -hmm. And we have a change to our format um, while we're talking about all this. We're going to be coming to you a lot more regularly now, and I'll let her explain the schedule. So we're going to aim for about every two weeks. So with doing them that often, we're going to do smaller amounts. So we're not doing like an hour long video. So at max, it shouldn't be more than five. Five. Five what? Five items. Oh, I thought you were, t I was talking in minutes. Oh. That's why I was confused. This one's longer than the other ones because we're just kicking it back off. Yeah. But at most, probably 15, 20 minutes. And you're in and out. Yep. So. All right. Next. On to the next drink. So, he made me pick between 
There was a bunch of different colors. Different. Um, and the only color or the only flavor I recognized was the strawberry. Um, but don't ask me what that other one is. Like li Lilico? Strawberry Lilico, which is passion fruit. Are you sure that's passion fruit? Yep. Oh, it does say strawberry juice blended with passion fruit. Okay, never mind. It's passion fruit. It's um, Hawaii, so it's still American, but... Hawaiian Sun Products. It's made in Honolulu. It's still... It's still an American product, but it's not... Um, not a normal thing for people in Ohio. Oh, in Ohio, and it's not a main part of the 48 mainland stuff, so we're including it. Still gotta be imported in Hawaii. Sometimes... Hey, listen... I know you're arguing with me through the screen, and you're going, you dummy, it's Hawaii. Sometimes you have to bend the rules when we're coming at you with this much, okay? So, relax. It's not always international with everything we do. It's just things that we've never tried before. Which, we're going to go back to the Dollar Tree soon. And instead of doing international, because that one we did with international Dollar Tree stuff, that was actually kind of cool. But they were all from the same place. Yeah. But we're going to move into products that we have never tried from either Dollar Tree, Dollar General. The cheaper, cheaper stuff. Aldi, save a lot maybe. We're going to try and give you guys an economic friendly, a wallet friendly experience as well. Because the seven things that we got here... Was we spent like 50 bucks. 50 bucks. And I think we got like two other things that were yeah. not I got a pack of, related. I got a pack of lo mein and I got stir fry sauce. Oh, and your two lion bars because you love them. And then I got my Hawaiian rolls because they were on sale. So this stuff was probably like 30 bucks. Which for seven items is still a little high. Yeah. So this stuff is the strawberry passion fruit. Hawaiian sun. And of course, nothing is cold because my husband doesn't believe in putting things in the fridge. It smells. Like a strawberry. Mmm. That's like a nectar. I think I like that better than I do that uh, one in the box. The, the Jumex? Yeah, I think I like this better than the Jumex. I love Jumex, but this is pretty good. There you go. We might have to buy some more of them. And there's different flavors you could try. That's an ass. And then lastly, we'll show you what it is. We'll get it all set up. Pause it. And then we'll try it. So, I have, uh, I used to watch all these videos where they pretty much, with the Japanese candy, where you make your own candy. Right. So, this is kind of like that. Um, but it's a chocolate banana soft candy. You kind of... Gotta play with it a little bit. So the steps on the back. Don't make me read them because I don't I don't so, read other languages. We're gonna go ahead and cut for a second. She's gonna put it together and then we'll be right back. And she says she's got it all put together, so I'm gonna finish this wine gum that I started again. These things. So they give you a little toothpick and you put the little main piece of the candy on it. It looks like this a banana. Is, it's, well, it's banana flavored. So it's like a chocolate banana. And then you dip it in the chocolate. You dip it in the chocolate. And then you put it in the. Nobody can see. The sprinkly stuff. And it looks like that when you're done. And go eat it. <laughs> no, take the just the banana. <laughs> I want the stick. Oh, or you could have waited on me. You're going to eat it. Well, I thought you would have waited on me. All right, I won't taste it. How can you not taste it while you're eating it? <laughs> so this is how the little tray comes. And you put the chocolate and the sprinkly things. And you have the little nanner. And it comes with one little toothpick. It doesn't look like he likes it. Kind of hard. I don't like the banana. I don't either. 
Not stupid. The chocolate didn't taste bad because I tasted a little bit on the... It's the banana. Chocolate ain't bad. Probably just sugar crystals. Sprinkly things aren't bad. That banana is rough. Hey. It's like a weird marshmallow type <clears throat> consistency. And they've tried it on the, the banana taffy the last flavor. Ta that's what I was going to say. But it's not a strong enough banana flavor, I think. So. It's not horrible. It's not my favorite. Yeah. I didn't like it. I usually love banana flavored candy. <laughs> Maybe that one's supposed to be too naturally flavored and that's the problem. <laughs> no, it didn't taste natural. It just... I don't really like the artificial banana. So, out of everything here, and we liked most things, if there's one thing that you're going to kill it, what is it? Those things are delicious. Yep. That's my pick. I would eat a couple of these little things, but um, not this one. I just realized I grabbed the horrible flavor. Which one? Or that that one you have tried that oh, you didn't ew. like. Or that blue one. I don't I don't know what it was, but the grape one, the orange one I grabbed was pretty good. The orange one was good. The root beer or the cola, cola one, one. The cola one was delicious. So maybe the the not so scary flavors are good. Um, but the other ones that we didn't know what they were. So maybe not for us. Overall. Was there anything that we just did not like? Um, yeah, I'm not wasn't a fan of the bur burdock. This is the one thing that we were both like, meh. She thinks maybe I like it cold, maybe. But we'll never find out because I won't drink it again. So, overall, everything was pretty decent. Um, it's always nice going out of your comfort zone and finding something new and just trying it. So... That's what we do in the food world, and we're here to bring you through the ride so that if we do come across something disgusting, I won't show it again. Or something delicious, I will show it again. This stuff. Mm -hmm. You can always count on us to show you what's hot and what's not. And with that, I'm Nick. I'm Danny. And we'll see you later.